Good evening YouTube. Tim Greenwald from Greenwald Auto Repair coming at you tonight. Uh, I just wanted to do part two of the first video that I posted on the 98 Blazer that I bought a couple months ago. Now if you haven't seen that video yet go ahead and watch it and there's all kinds of exciting stuff happening underneath the hood of this Blazer and this Blazer came from an alleged mechanic. He said he was a mechanic at a Ford dealership. Now I almost believed him, but I took a peek under here before he told me this, and uh, that proved that he's not a mechanic. So I'll just do start with the simplest things first. This is the transfer case output shaft going to the front axle. You notice there's no drive shaft here, nothing, nada. So four wheel drive is no worky worky on this vehicle. Secondly, You'll notice there's no catalytic converter right here. Oh nice, cut hose. Anyway, there's a piece of flex pipe here, banging on the cross member, connected to a loose piece of exhaust pipe, just stuck in this muffler pipe right here. Not welded, not clamped. No attempt to secure this, the thing's louder than hell. So that makes it sound like absolute garbage. Now, I also wanna show you these rubber transmission lines he put on. You will know, notice they're hanging pretty low. If you were to run over something, it would catch, rip them out, blow your transmission if you kept driving it long enough. So you'll notice how close they are to the exhaust pipe. That's gonna melt. Also, the most important part of this whole video, you'll notice right up here is a kinked transmission line, the metal part. Now, he indicated to me when I bought this that it had a bad transmission. He said when it gets warm, drive it down the road, transmission starts slipping and won't shift. Well, this is why. The idiot didn't realize that he kinked the damn line off because he's too lazy to do this job right and put in a replacement transmission line. So he kinks it off and then wonders why the transmission won't shift. So I thought that was pretty interesting. So in other words, this transmission is good. I drove it and it, it shifts a little bit funny, but it's 100% because of this line. I guarantee you this ain't a bad transmission. The guy's just an idiot. Doesn't know how to work on anything. And he also indicated to me that he changed the upper and lower ball joints on both sides, which you can tell these are new. This side here not new they've been on there for a while these are not original ball joints they have been replaced but they've been on here for several years now you can tell also after he did the transmission lines he never did an alignment steering wheel's off a half turn and it's chewing through tires you can see right here inner wear on the both tires that means both front tires are towed out that means they're not parallel with each other, the front of the tires are facing out and it rides like absolute garbage. You'll also notice <clears throat> there's supposed to be a plastic cover right here covering this oil filter, covering this whole area which not many people realize this that aren't mechanics but these plastic covers are extremely important especially in wet weather driving, snow, things like that because as you drive, especially if you're following somebody you're going to get all kinds of moisture, rain, snow, ice up in here and it's going to hit your belt and your belt is going to slip. That's not a good thing. Of course, this idiot that owned this before I did didn't seem to think of that. He just ripped it off. No big deal. He didn't need it, I guess. It was his mom's car, so obviously you could tell he loves his mother very, very much doing this kind of shady repair on this. This guy's not a mechanic at all. He is absolutely a anything but a mechanic I wouldn't even hire this guy as a lube tech if I had somebody working for me and they worked on a vehicle and it looked like this afterwards I would punch them in the face and fire them and then post their name on the internet <clears throat> I'm sorry but that's just how I am when you work on people's vehicles they are putting their lives in your hand. If you mess up, if you make a mistake, if you forget to put on a bolt, forget to tighten a bolt, anything like this, you can kill somebody or kill an entire family because of your lame ass repairs. So 
that's why I typically don't hire too many people that I don't know to work for me because whoever does work here, you can bet that I trust them 100% because I'm putting my, my name on these repairs when they come out of the shop. And if a vehicle looked like this after I worked on it or somebody that worked for me, I, yeah, no. This vehicle would never make it to the customer like this. This is an absolute safety hazard. This kind of crap is what gets people killed. And this is something I take very seriously as a mechanic. And this guy here takes no pride in his work and does not take his job seriously because look at what he's done. Also, I think I see something else. Yeah, right here, you'll notice that this transmission line is loose in this retainer. That is a very, very bad situation because as the engine's running, as the vehicle's being driven, driven there's plenty of vibrations and this can wear a hole right through the line. The line blows, you get hot transmission fluid going on the exhaust, which is a risk of it catching fire. Not to mention your transmission's gonna be out of commission. If you keep trying to drive it like that with no fluid, you're gonna burn your transmission up. It'll cause all kinds of problems just because this guy is too damn stupid to secure a transmission line down that he rigged up very poorly, by the way, just because he's too lazy to put a correct transmission line replacement on this. So that concludes the video. As I tear into this vehicle, I'm gonna, I'm sure I'm gonna find more things and I will upload videos of that. So thank you for watching. Please subscribe and have a lovely day.